We have reached a new era, an era that brings about destruction through new methods of production. Capitalism is slowly taking away the rights upon which this nation was founded. It has taken our equality, democracy, liberty, rights, and even our opportunity. There is no such thing as equality anymore. Money is a disease that allows for atrocities and injustices, such as homelessness, to happen. A nation in which 1% of the people control one-third of the nation's wealth, while there are others who are starving to death on the streets, cannot claim equality nor the ability to move up the social ladder. Democracy has become corrupt by capitalism, as companies bribe lawmakers into passing laws that benefit them, not the people. The majority of the people no longer control the policies that are made, and we have entered the second gilded age. Lobbying groups and the wealthy control the policies that are made through money. And this is truly a catastrophe because it means that money, which is nothing more than a symbol, is able to change and shape our lives. America no longer holds to the true meaning of democracy. Rather, it has become submissive to paper and fused with arbitrary value. Capitalism has changed the way liberty itself develops. Liberty has ceased to be equal among Americans. This again is due to capitalism. Your very liberty is dependent on the amount of money that you have. Look around you. The only way you can get access to medical care of any kind within the United States during an emergency is by having money. And lack of coverage almost always means certain death. The implication is simple. Pieces of paper are worth more than you and I. Rights are slowly becoming susceptible to capitalist debauchery. Capitalism is slowly making our nation fascist. For instance, the food defamation laws. We have lost our freedom of speech to corporations who want us to be silent. But we must be able to speak up for what we believe is right. Creating opportunity is no longer a priority in the American nation. We all know that opportunity comes via education. However, the conditions set by capitalism have made it so that entering a good private college can cost over $31,000 annually. This is an impossibility to most American families as 66% of Americans can earn less than $41,000 annually. Capitalism has created conditions that make the attendance of college impossible as college necessitate a certain level of capital that is fundamentally obstructed from the lower class. Our only hope is scholarships, but even those are only dispersed to those whom people have chosen to be the best capitalists. For that, what nation desires competition if not for the maximization of profit itself? However, I have a dream. A dream in which corrupt capitalism no longer runs America. I have a dream of an America that is no longer run by profit. An America no longer run by possessions and greed, rather by love and unity. A nation reborn with a home and a proper education for all.